So at the start of round two, we're going to go ahead and flip up the next card here. This time, of course, again, it's a strategy card because most of the round one cards are strategy cards because it goes through all of the dice rolling and world building to make sure everyone has a small footing on resources before it goes into some of the more interactive event types. And number two, this one is Echoes of the Past. Once again, everyone will choose an active sheet. This time, we're going to go ahead and show off how the expansion sheet works. And once again, after we choose our sheet, we're going to spend our resources. Now for the expansion sheet, the first thing that we're going to have to do is claim one of these different planet types. There are six different planet types on the sheet here. And to be able to claim a planet, we're going to have to go back to our navigation sheet and use one of the two planets that we claimed. And we can assign any one of them to any other, to any of them. Uh, they don't correspond directly in any sort of way. But we'll go ahead now and mark off one planet on our navigation sheet to claim that as a planet on our expansion sheet. So we'll go ahead and claim this one here in the bottom left. And now we're able to use dice results to start marking off the spaces on this sheet to unlock the resources presented here in the outer rim of the sheet. So we've got one of each symbol type here of the material influence and research and the way to unlock the resources and assets is to completely fill in a row or a column that corresponds to it. So if we use one of each result here that gives us access to this specialty asset right there. So that will uh, unlock that for us. And that's before we've even rolled dice. Now we get to, whoops, wah, roll the dice without flinging them all over the table. Oh, and we're gonna come up with three material results and spend those somewhere. So let's go ahead and keep working on unlocking specialty resources here and just cross off those two. And then since we'll be really close in this column as well, we'll go ahead and mark that out. Now that doesn't get us any more additional uh, resources or assets right now, but we're closer to getting more in the future. Since we did unlock a specialty asset on this card, the next thing we'll do is go ahead and talk about technologies. You can see down here on the bottom of this sheet and on the top or bottom of all of the different player sheets, you'll see these technologies. At any time, uh, you can spend resources or assets to unlock these technologies. So if we wanted right now, we could go ahead and spend this specialty asset to unlock the self-assembly routines, which would let us cross out one unclaimed asset on an unlocked planet to cross out two resource icons there. That's neat, but since we're mostly done Right now with this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and not use it. We might use it later on. We'll take a look at all of the options for it as we go. But that's how technologies are unlocked and how we gain the assets to unlock them. There's one more symbol that we need to check out on the expansion sheet while we're wrapping up and that's the population symbol. You'll see that appear on the expansion sheet and in has a couple other opportunities to come up on cards or other things. Anytime you unlock the population icon, you just claim another victory point up here along the side, and that helps you increase the population of your empire, which of course is a path to victory.